All right, Kylie, thank you. Well, some high school students at Central Christian Academy are learning invaluable marketing skills with the newly created Chargers Marketing Agency. And that agency gives students access to real world, pro world projects that could help them as they enter the workforce after graduation. In our Eye on Education report this week, head of school David Sexauer explains how the company is also filling a gap in the marketplace by providing much needed services to nonprofit, uh, nonprofits. And David? Welcome to the program. Thanks, Gary. Uh, Central Christian Academy, not a, your typical um, uh, private school. Describe this school uh, just in the near south side of Indianapolis. Yeah, so we're urban, mm -hmm. and we uh, embrace that fact. We're just south of the Fountain Square neighborhood in the Bean Creek neighborhood ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so what we're looking at is a school that has a population that's both ethnically diverse and then mostly serves low-income families. Uh, in addition to that, the families that are sending their children there, have don't they don't really have expectations about going to a four-year your college mm -hmm. university, about half our kids do, which is great, but about half of our kids are going to go right into the workforce out of high school, and so we're trying to prepare them well for that. K-12 uh, institution, and that is really uh, you know on a bit of a roll. Your arrival there 20 months ago, and enrollment uh, that had been waning a bit is, is on the increase. Yeah, when I took over uh, a little over a year and a half ago, we were down to 100 returning students. Uh, we added 70 in the first year. Uh, we've added over 90 this year, so we're up uh, over 200 now yeah. uh, and continuing to climb. All right, let's talk about uh, Chargers Marketing, which is a marketing agency that you have created in the school, run by students and participated uh, participating students in that program. Talk about this idea, uh, which gives students really some great hands-on experience. Yeah, so the genesis of the idea came about with uh, working with a guy named Brandon Stewart. He's an alum of the school. He had been working for a couple of startups in town. And we were just talking about what was next with him, how he might be involved with the school. And I got the idea that really, he really wanted to do was his own marketing startup. And I asked him if he'd be willing to do it with us to serve a couple of different needs. And one would be to help our kids have real world experience. Um, another would be to generate revenue for the mm -hmm. school. So right now we're primarily funded with vouchers. We don't have a real big donor base. We're working on that. But we need to be doing some other things to drive revenue. And this would allow us to do it. And then the third component is, is we would be able to help nonprofits. Nonprofits have the same needs mm -hmm. in professional services as for-profit companies, but they typically don't have the budget to pay for it. So they use volunteers and other below market pricing to get that done. We want to provide uh, as good a product as we possibly can by using our students to deliver the services. And a real niche agency in that nonprofit uh, space. Uh, and again, back to the students who get that real wor world experience. And as you mentioned, not all of your students go into four-year institutions or even, even you know, higher ed may go right into the workforce. So this kind of experience can really prove invaluable for them. Yeah, so I was an IT guy for about 20 years. Uh, my undergrad degree and my graduate work is actually in theology mm -hmm. uh, and history, so it, it wasn't really applicable other than the fact that I had that degree. But I found that I had an aptitude and then got a skill. Uh, and in that arena, a lot of the best engineers I've worked with, some of them have degrees from technical mm -hmm. institutions, but a lot of great computer mm -hmm. technicians get out of high school, and they've been doing this since they were a teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I thought we can do the same thing with our kids. Well, as we wrap up, too, this is part of uh, what could be a broader model uh, at Central Christian Academy. You've got the marketing agency, but you're looking at maybe starting other businesses that students can engage in as well. Yes, I am. This program right now has about uh, half a dozen kids in it. At its peak, it'll probably have 10 to 12, mm -hmm. um, but uh, our maximum capacity for this program is going to be about 75 kids across maybe a dozen different industries. So we're mm -hmm. looking at a bunch of other things to help give our kids some good skills and support the school. Very interesting story. We look forward to following up uh, maybe in a few months and see how things are going. David Sexow Hours, the head of school at Central Christian Academy here in Indianapolis. Uh, congratulations. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks, Gary.